Hello friends, welcome to automationtalks.com. Myself Prakash Narkade and today I am here with uh, Maven tutorial uh, which we need for Selenium, uh, writing a Selenium uh, project uh, in Java. So Maven tutorial and uh, today I will cover uh, how to download and install Maven which is a build tool. So in my previous uh, article I talked about uh, what is Maven introduction to Maven basics of Maven right so Maven is basically a build tool which perform a variety of operations like uh, building a product then uh, and then packaging deploying and uh, packaging in the sense it convert into either jar file or war file based on the definition in pom.xml which we provide and then it uh, it is good for uh, uh, reporting as well and documentation as well also one of the important feature of this uh, maven which is a build tool is uh, uh, it works on project object model that is pom right so uh, in, in in case of maven we need not to add any jar into the project the jar will be picked up from the dependencies which uh, we provide in pom.xml right so apart from this let us talk about how to download and uh, install maven now so there are two ways how we can download and install a maven the first thing is the first way to uh, install download and install maven is directly from eclipse ide so this is your eclipse ide and in eclipse ide if you go to help and here you can find two options for installing a software first one is install new software or eclipse marketplace right so you can install it from both the places so i'll just show you how we can do it from install new software right so if you click on install new software a window like this will come and in this this is a drop down uh, where you can add your url right so here i have already my url for maven where it is okay this one is the my url for m2e release repository that is maven release repository it is download technology m2e releases right so this is the url technology m2e releases if you do not see this uh, uh, url into your drop down then what you can do is you can click on add you can uh, uh, add some name like uh, m2e add or maven download something like that you can add any meaningful name and then you can add the address over here and click on ok so that the address will be uh, within this drop down right then from this drop down what you can do is you can select the url right as soon as you select the url you will find something is coming over here or you can even if you see a lot of option you can type here like maven then you can see um, the option uh, the available uh, install installation packages over here right so this is the maven integration for eclipse I want this so just check it check it and click on next right since <coughs> okay hold on since I already have installed it okay so what you can do is um, because I already have installed it I may not be able to show you how to install it uh, further but I have the screenshot which I will show you hold on so this is my blog automationtalks.com on my blog you can find tutorials for manual testing API testing mainframe testing selenium various tools for selenium then Tosca which is automation tool where uh, no programming no knowledge is required just with drag and drop you can automate the applications and continuous integration tool and I have started with maven over here and in maven here how to download and install e maven in eclipse ide right so the first one is install directly from eclipse ide uh, you can go to uh, like as i have shown you help install new software then add this uh, what you can say url and then uh, till now i have shown you select the packages which you want to install then click on next right so as soon as you click on next it will ask you for the confirmation okay if you want to install this packages click on yes and then the <coughs> final one will come asking for license agreement so you have to click on I accept the license agreement as soon as you click on I accept and click on finish the installation will start okay and installation will start and uh, if you want to continue with working you can click on run in background so that it will uh, keep running and you can continue with your work 
Once the installation is completed, you should restart your machine so that the effects of this installation will take place. Right. So as soon as you restart your uh, machine and Eclipse IDE, you will see the Maven is installed into your machine. Uh, Eclipse IDE right? and you can check that okay I'll cancel this since I have shown you already you can click this by using um, by clicking on file new and uh, other and maven here you can see maven project if you see this that means your maven is installed in your machine Fine. so this is one of the simplest way but sometimes this creates a problem so I prefer to go for the second way which is the manual installation another way to install maven is install it in your machine and then configure it in eclipse ide so <coughs> maven is a set of jar files right and you can download the maven jar files from this official url of maven maven.apache.org it is a product of apache so i've just clicked on it Okay, hold on. Hmm. Okay, so here you can find uh, uh, the Maven uh, latest version 3.5.2, and you have to go with binary zip file. So just click on this, it should start your download. Click on save since I have already downloaded I'll cancel this now once the once it is downloaded what you can do is uh, you can extract it you can extract it so I have extracted it to my C drive so this is the extracted one uh, Apache Maven 3.5.2 right now your maven is extracted to this path let us say c drive and apache maven 3.5.2 uh, right then what is our next step once it is once it is downloaded what you need to do is you need to set up environment variables right so we are installing maven into the machine that means we are not doing any hard installation like how you do with uh, your other applications here it is just a part of configuration we will setting environment variable we will be downloading the um, maven and we will be setting the environment variables and we will check if it is installed and once if it is installed in your machine then we will configure it into our eclipse IDE. this is a bit lengthy process but it will not give you any issue the first one is very simple but sometimes it give issue so that is why uh, I prefer to go for this uh, second way right now I have downloaded the maven files now let us go and check how to set up this environment variables I have done it already but I'll just show you how we can do that uh, in your search box type env you can see a very first option uh, hold on not coming okay so so you can find edit the system environment variables click on that and at the bottom here you can find environment variables click on this now I, I need to add these three variables java underscore home yum2 underscore home and yum2 is equal to this right so java underscore home is the where is your java is located so my java my jdk is located in c drive java and jdk whereas my apache maven is located at c apache maven which i have shown you recently so this is my maven c and c drive apache maven right so what we can do is uh, i'll show you since i have already created this you can see java underscore home is set to this then yum2 home is set to this and yum2 is equal to this 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 right if you have not created this then what you can do is you can simply create new and you can type here java underscore home and you can give the variable value that is this value and simply click on ok the system variable will be added to your this environment variable list in the similar way do it for yum2 home which is the maven directory and yum2 which is the um, bin file from the 
maven directory right so this is about setting environment variables now you need to set the path so in system variable itself you can you will find something as a path right so what you need to do is it will be already set to some values what you need to do you need to just append these things which I have mentioned over here I have given it on my blog as well you can find it over there as well so you need to append these values you what you can do is you can click here and you can go to the last and you can append it append this value you can see the value uh, which I have already mentioned over here m2 and java home bin m2 and java home bin the value I have already pasted if you have not then what you can do is you can just copy from this semicolon and paste this over here do not modify any environment variable unless and until you are sure that okay you can remove that because if you are doing something with environment variable it may crash your system fine so since I have already added I will click cancel and what you can do once you have done all these four things you can click on ok right now I click on ok now you are done with uh, downloading apache maven and setting up environment variable setting up environment variable is a kind of doing installation that means your installation is done now now then what you can do is you can check if your maven is installed into your machine then what you can do is you can go to command prompt and you can type mvn space hyphen version right so this should give you the maven version installed in your machine so just wait for a minute so now you can see apache maven 3.5.2 maven home is this java version is 1.8 jdk and java home is this so now the maven is installed on your system on your machine now what you need to do is you need to configure it into uh, your eclipse ide right both are different things in the first approach you can just install this everything will be done automatically uh, but sometime it creates a problem even if your installation is successful uh, it shows something like build plan uh, not found or something like that right so to avoid and to, uh, uh, to avoid play around around those errors what you can do is you can go for this second approach very simple download maven jar files uh, set up environment variable check if it is installed correctly and then you can configure the installed maven into your eclipse id which i'll show you now right so the first thing is if you go to your maven and con file here you can find something as a setting.xml so you need to edit this setting.xml and what you need to do is come down and where you can see a local repository maven at that place you need to add these lines by default these lines will not be there what is your we are specifying local repository which is my local repository so my local repository is in c drive and apache maven this is my local repository so you just need to update this path into this line and you need to add this line into uh, this setting.xml at this place only where you are doing this setting right just make sure that you are doing it at the proper place remember the place right it is just before this interactive mode and you need to specify your uh, location of your maven right so you can edit this and you can click on save right so i have already done that then next thing is what you can do is um, you have done uh, updating your setting then go to windows preferences now you need to configure it in our eclipse id we need to tell the eclipse id okay my maven is located at this place it is installed so what you can do is you can go to windows then preferences then go to maven expand this maven and in maven go to installations under installation uh, this third line apache maven by default if you are installing it first time you will not see this right you will see only these two since i have already uh, added this uh, this is showing right but if uh, if it is not added then what you can do is you can click on add since I have added, I will click on edit. You can click on add and you can give uh, installation type as external and installation home as where it is installed. It is installed in my C drive. So, path to my Apache Maven and installation name that is this name. So, that Eclipse ID will get to know okay, my uh, Maven is installed at this location. You can click on finish and here you can click on apply right after you clicked on apply you need to update your 
user setting so we have edited a setting.xml with the uh, repository then we have edited installation details uh, and then we need to update user setting so user setting will be again in maven the last option user setting and here you just need to uh, you, you just need to give this setting.xml path over here right this setting.xml path right so you can get the path from here and you can add the setting.xml and click on apply click on ok right so yeah that's it so that's done uh, once you uh, complete all these steps you will see your maven will be installed your machine and you are good to use maven for creating a new maven project okay so that's it i have so these are the two ways how we can install um, maven into your eclipse id the first one is directly from eclipse marketplace or install um, a new software option which is present under under help button help menu the second one is uh, install it in your machine that is download and configure environment variable that is nothing but installation and then check if it is installed and then configure the installed maven into your eclipse ide that is by editing setting.xml then updating installation details and updating server settings under where it is windows preferences and maven and here installation and user setting right so okay so that's it i have for this uh, Mm, selenium maven tutorial where i have explained about how to download and install maven which is basically a build tool so that's it i have for coming videos uh, in coming videos i'll talk about how to create a project in maven uh, and then various details about maven so keep watching on my blog automationtalks.com do subscribe to my youtube channel thanks